All right, how to set up the tire marks on a Nissan 4.0. This happens to be 2007 Nissan Frontier, could be Pathfinder, etc. And some of my followers and viewers have asked me more than a few times already the same question about this. First of all, it's very easy to set up the tire marks on, on these Nissans. See the tire mark and the tire mark to that right there, lining up with the highlighted links here and the secondary uh, timing chain, the smallest bracket here. But the question I always been asked is this one here, why this hole does not line up with the tunnel mark? Because it would be like this to line up, right? Uh, this one is lining up with this link here on the timing chain. Don't worry, this one never lines up. This one never lines up. Now, some of my subscribers say, every time I, they go to YouTube, everybody says this one, this hole has to line up with this, with this timing mark here. Right, let me tell you something, don't struggle lining this up, they remain like, like this, exactly like this, that's how they remain. I even went to do a job that they called me, that guy was struggling to, to line up this, this one here, but he saw that it was like that. The time marks uh, were lining up everywhere else, but not here. So don't worry about lining this up, it will never line up, they stay behind like this. I'm gonna ask my friend to go over to the other side, alright, thank you. And we're gonna see the same, the same on this side here. Time mark, time mark, see the arrows lining up. Time mark, time mark, and highlight links, they all line, lining up. This is supposed to line up 100%, not this ones, not this ones at all. This arrow right now is lining up with the hole, but not the time mark. The time mark is far away, so it will be like this, see? However, this remains like this. If the time mark will be in this direction, it will be lining up. So again, don't worry about this. This is the other side, by the way. Don't worry about lining uh, this up. You will never line them up. This hole and the time chain bracket or the secondary time chain with this timer mark here. See? Far away. And this is the correct way to install these time chains. That's how they stay once everything is installed. All right, right now we're going over the big one here, the primary time chain, the line and the time chain bracket. The dot and the time change bracket with the highlighter link here. You see the arrow lining up perfectly with the notch with uh, like a vein here and the engine block. That's how they, I mean, actually, this is a very good uh, camera angle. And coming to the other side here, thanks to my friend that is moving the video and freezing at the same time. <laughs> see the line here on the sprocket. The, this kind of looks a little bit funny because the arrow is passing here on this side but it's because of the angle of the camera but they all lining up you have to worry about lining this up this 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 and this the dot right there and the highlight link and the line and the and the national engine block they all line up now we come to the bottom here this is the crankshaft and this is the keyway uh, i'm gonna ask my friend to to freeze the video again so we can have a all right thank you very much the keyway lining up with this mark here this one's also line up 100 percent and there is one more here on this side a little bit on the bottom on the same of uh, the same crankshaft there is a highlighter link here too oops my friend can you please freeze the video freeze, uh, freeze it for me thank you very much <laughs> All right, here, uh, here we go again. See, this is the crankshaft on this side here, the timer mark and the highlighter link on the primary timing chain lining up. This one's lined up 100%. So that's basically it. But there is one more thing I want to show you about the uh, highlighter links. There is one highlighter link on each timing chain and the small ones. I'm gonna ask my friend again if he can go back to the secondary timing chain. All right, this one's here. See the highlighter link right there on the other side. Don't worry about those because if you line up all timing marks here on the front of the engine with the timing marks and, and the chain and also on the engine block and, and, the, and the, also on the sprockets, that's all you need. Thanks for watching.